the illustration today. I'll have to tell a story and I'll, that'll be the phrase for, the, for that. But here's the illustration. The illustration is you're walking along and you start to lean. You start to lean. I know you want to come up and catch me because you think I'm falling. I'm not. Okay, leaning. That's the term, leaning. Leaning, just, ah, uh, I'm leaning. Okay. I borrowed this title from Jensen, Franklin Jensen, and it, this is what it's called. And I, let me tell you this story. It's a story of an old farmer working his fields, driving his tractors, and trying to get all the harvest in. And what happens is he has so much to do that he can't keep his maintenance up too well on the farm. So one of his workers is riding with him on the tractor, and he's going out to the field to plant some corn. And he looks at his wagon shed, and he says, boy, that's leaning. I didn't realize that. Now, the wagon shed is two sets of corn cribs with a roof over it, and they keep the, the wagons and the equipment there out of the weather. But basically, it's built on four, six, or eight, ten poles that just go in the ground. And what happens, as the ground begins to get soft and hard, soft and hard, soaking with rain, the building starts to lean, and the farmer says, wow, I gotta get out there and fix that, because if I don't, it's going to fall off. So he puts it off, puts it off, and then finally he says, I've got to do this. So he went out and he cut down a couple of nice, sturdy pine trees, trimmed the branches off, about 10, 12 feet long, got alongside, and he said, now this is the side, this." the corn crib that's leaning. So I'm gonna take this post and I'm gonna push it up there and boom, he got that one in, got that one. And pretty soon the corn crib is straight. And because he had propped it up on the, le on the leaning side, where it was leaning, he propped it up. Now, so that's the name of the sermon. Leaning, uh, propping up, against the leaning side, propping up against the leaning side, oh, oh, propping it up. That's the physical story. Now, here's the spiritual application. We have at least three or four different ways that we can walk with God. And when we do that, God will prop us up if we start to lean. Now, there are many different kinds of posts that we can use to prop up. And that makes a difference because if the prop is not strong enough, then it's just going to bend and the building's going to fall over. So it won't be supported, it won't be propped from the leaning side. So I got a couple of things that are going to use for props. All right? You tell me which ones are the good ones. Hang on. Okay, some of you recognize these as what? The rod and the staff. The rod and the staff. This one, this will be the best one that you can have to be propped up. Now this is even smaller than others. How many of you remember reading and writing and arithmetic taught to the tune of the hickory stick. Remember that? This is probably a piece of hickory stick. The tune of the hickory stick is, remember? Pay attention. So, okay. This is the best prop. You put that prop, lean against it on the leaning side. Prop on the leaning side, straighten up. Okay, that's one. 
Now, here's, I have three of them. Here's another one. This is good. This is what a shepherd would use for sheep. And if one of the sheep gets caught or stumbles or falls and gets leaning, they call it a cast sheep. I mean, there's the, it's eaten so much and it has so much wool on it that it waddles along like this, waddles along, and there's a little hole and doesn't see it, falls over in there, and there he is, laying on his back with his feet up, and he's cast. He's stuck. If the shepherd doesn't rescue him, he'll die. So the shepherd rescues him and pulls this out. Now, I don't know what this is. I acquired this from Dalit. So, but I'm not going to break it, I promise. But it's not a very good staff. It bends. It's, it's just not good. It's not a good thing to be propped up, to lean on. Now, here's the first tip that we have on how not to fall down, how to walk straight, to not be leaning this way or that way, but straight. And we find this in Proverbs 4.27. And I think we do. Okay. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your feet from evil. That's the key to getting out of trouble and staying, staying on the path the way God wants you to. Stay there. And don't go to the right to the left go right, stay right with the word of God. And then I, I've been meditating on a scripture that I've used to meditate on years and years ago. And for somehow, Lois, you reminded me of it. I don't know why, but, but I started getting interested in it again. And it's two verses in Jude chapter 24, no chapter, Jude verses 24 and 25. Now I'm not sure what translation this is but to him who is able to keep you from falling or stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God our, our Savior be glory, majesty power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages and now forevermore Amen but the key phrase is our only wise God to keep you from falling. And that's the key thing in our Christian life. When we're walking along, keep us from falling. We want to walk with him. Are you walking with Jesus? And now, you know, there's a lot of songs written about this. The songs, you know, just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. You all know that. That's one. Another is leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, just leaning on the everlasting arm. And another one is he lifts me up higher and higher and higher. Because it's very easy in our nature to get down, to get tripped up. So the first one is walking along and you have your leaning post and you you trip a little bit. Oh, oh, I got it. You pull yourself back up. Just a little slip, a little trip. And that to me, spiritually, would be that you have just skipped your prayer time, your daily prayer time. And you're just a little bit off track, but so, you, oh, I just don't have time. So it's like you trip. And so you got to get straightened back up. So you simply ask God to help you to get give you that prayer time now the second one is a little bit harder and so I'll use the different stick for that the second was you lean harder on him and it's this, this is the time when you skip your Bible reading and you skip fellowship with others and you're walking along and you're thinking, I can do it on my own. That's okay. I can walk with Jesus on my own. And that is a little bit of a lean. You're, oh boy. And you quick go there to 
help you straighten yourself up by joining again in prayer. Now, Psalm 51, 40. I, th I, I think I give this order, right? Psalm 51, 10. This is beautiful. This is the beautiful word of God. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Is there another line to that? Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Oh, wow. Create in me a pure heart. That's what can get us back on the path again. And then, of course, our psalm, which we love to say over and over again. That's Psalm 91. And I'll read a couple of verses, 9, 9 through 12. Okay. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. They will, oh, that's it. So you don't start, strike your foot against a stone. Great, thank you. Okay, so we're walking along in our Christian life and we trip. We trip a little bit, we slip. We fall. Oh, oh. So you use that staff to prop yourself up on the leaning side to get yourself straight. Prop yourself up on your leaning side. Then there's the third, third type. And this is, this is not good. You aren't really depending on a prop. You have what appears to be a prop and you're walking along. <coughs> <coughs> and you trip and you fall and you go always oh, oh 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 how can I get up how can I get up this won't bear this won't give it to me so you come around and you find the other staff the good staff you crawl oh Lord help me up help me up Lord help me up I, I, I faltered I fell and you get up. You say, ah, oh, now I'm leaning on this. I'm propped up on the side that I was leaning on. And Psalm 19 has some real neat ways. And you know what I was thinking, this, this passage? Most gods or most spirits that what you would try to rely on with what happened. They'd walk away. they say, you fell down. Stay down there. I don't care about you. But not our God. But if we fall and really fall hard, he's still there with us. And look at his gentle way. He doesn't cast us aside. He doesn't mock us. He doesn't say, forget it. You're just an impossible project. What he does is, is this. And it's Psalm 19. Verses 7, 8, 9, and 14. Okay. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. Okay. The fear of the Lord is pure. Enduring for, excuse me, forever. The, dec the decree of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Okay. See how gentle how gentle the Lord is. And he sees us when we trip and we fall and we falter. And we're not walking with him the way we should. We're not reading our Bible. We're not attending church. We're not praying like we should. 
We're spending more time with, with non-believers than we do with believers. So we're cooling off and we're basically crawling along in our faith. But Jesus shows us this prop. He says, get a hold of it. Pick you up. I'll, I'll prop you up. And that's not wrong to be that. Propped up. Propped up. And then, I like this one. Isaiah 40, verse 11. Isaiah 40, verse 11. Oh, got it already. Okay. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lamb in his arms, and he carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. See how gentle and loving that is? He, te he treats us like little lambs. And we can be rebellious. We can be out running, jumping over a cliff when we shouldn't be. We should be with the rest of the flock, but we're not. He doesn't say, well, get down there. I want to spank you. He says, get up, get up. I want to prop you up on the side that was leaning. I want to prop you up on the side that was leaning. And then for, uh, Isaiah 46, 4, which is particularly interesting to us, I believe. Yeah, it's interesting to us. Okay. You didn't catch that. Even to your old age and what? Gray hairs. <laughs> I am he. <laughs> he doesn't give up, no matter how old and we, we hop along, limp along, and let's try, let's try it again. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and will rescue you. Hallelujah. See how gentle he, he is for us. He's always watching. The eyes of the Lord are on us. Not to criticize us, not to harm us, not to get us upset, but to rescue us, to stand us back up, to get us on the path so that we don't turn to the right or to the left. We follow him. We, we lean on him. We have that walking stick with him. And I'll just cl close with this, but I'm sure you've heard this before too. That people who see Christians, they say, ah, oh, Christians, you guys just limp along. You're just a Christian. You have to have religion as a prop. Well, if they by, mean by religion, if they mean Jesus Christ, I say, give me all you can. Give me not just one prop, but two props, three props. Because... I want to be propped up. Propped up. What's that? Yes. Yes, he is the prop. So, be propped up on the leaning side. That's the message. Be propped up on the leaning side. Don't falter. Don't fall. Don't, don't crash. Don't give up. Don't quit. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Just a closer walk with him. Grant it, Jesus, that's my plea. He wants to be with you. Sometimes you feel, well, the things I do, the thoughts I think, wow, they're not very good. I don't think he want to be with me, but that's not true. He took to the cross, he went to the cross. He, gra he granted salvation to us. He grants the Holy Spirit to us. He gives us the Word of God. He heals us. He, he sustains us. And we shouldn't be afraid to ask Him and have Him walk with us this day, walk with us the rest of our life. We should not be afraid of Him. He will do nothing but good. So, get your props. Get your props, the Word of God. And remember, you know, you're not unique because in Scripture, Think of some of the great men in Scripture who not just tripped a little bit, but fell. Like Peter, our man Peter, denied the Lord. He needed to be propped up. Did God do it? Yes. Jesus actually spoke words to Peter. Peter, feed my sheep. Do you love me, Peter? Those words. Okay, and then there's Moses. Moses and Aaron. 
and they needed to help Moses hold the rod and the Israel, Israelites would win. There's those. And then there's Solomon. Solomon thought it was wisdom and great wives, number of wives, but he missed the point. There's wisdom in knowing God and God's word. Solomon needed to be propped up. And of course, the great King David. David had all kinds of confidence in his ability as a soldier, as a warrior. He could make it through. He could lead people. But he did. He, he, he thought that he could do it all on his own. And he faltered. He fell. So there are many, many people in Scripture who walked along who needed to be propped up on the leaning side. So do you need to be propped up on the leaning side? Don't just stay down. Get up. Let's get walking. Let's get, let's get the blessing of God. Propped up on the leaning side. Let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you that you're for us. Thank you that you walk with us. Lord, we want a closer walk with you. We want a closer walk with you. Thank you, Lord. Bless us now. Bless us. Help us, Lord, to go along and to keep you right next to us. Keep you right next to us. That we can lean on you. We can lean on you, Lord. Thank you. We bless you. We love you. We thank you that you are for us. You're not casting us aside. I pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.